Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited to be invited to your fifth birthday party. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father Chris. And um, such a beautiful place to have a church. Such a beautiful place to come from. Your church out there in Oxnard. We love that area also. So thank you for honoring us uh, with your presence today, Father. So the fifth anniversary of a church that brings together, that brings together the Romanian American community. So hard to do, so difficult to do, but so important to do. My parents are from Mexico. I know what it is like to live in an immigrant household here, in particular, in Orange County. See, because my parents came here for opportunity. And they sacrificed. My father worked in a factory. My mother stayed at home raising seven children, working, selling the avocados off our trees door to door, teaching her children, scraping together sacrificing, my mother going out and learning the American school system so she could advocate on behalf of her children, and also understanding that while my parents loved so much of America, they wanted to keep those Mexican traditions and instill them in their children to know the history, to know the language, to know the culture, and for their children not to be embarrassed in an America that assimilates people and sometimes is afraid of the differences we have. My mother fought with the teachers who told her, don't speak in Spanish to your children. They need to learn English well. And my mother would answer back, a humble mother who came here with nothing. And she would say, America will teach my children English, but in my house, I will teach them Spanish. And if you walked into our home even today, my mother's home, we speak in Spanish. And we have our altar and our Jesus candles and everything that is the Mexican Catholic. And for this, for this, I thank my parents for giving me that culture and that language and that understanding and for not being afraid to hold on to that and for pushing us out into America, for educating us as a girl, as a woman, to be educated, to have the opportunities that my brothers had, which is sometimes not so typical in the country that my parents came from. Very important thing to do. You know, there are good things of America and you all embrace them. And yet there are things in America which sometimes frighten us. You know, we are more closely knit, we immigrant families, right? We honor the father and the mother. The American kids can't wait to get out of the house, right? We want to keep everybody together. Some things are good, some things are bad. My mother used to tell me when I started working that when she started working the custom in Mexico, custom in Mexico was that the child would give half of the paycheck to the mother. She said, where's my money? <laughs> I said, Mom, I'm more American than I am Mexican. <laughs> so there are good, there are bad. But I know. I know what it is. And as a congresswoman that represents the central portion of Orange County, I represent a lot of immigrant communities who are here for the same reasons. They had to leave their country. They wanted a new beginning. They economically wanted to be somewhere. And my first and foremost, 
foremost, not only as a Catholic, but as a Congresswoman, are the teachings that we learn today. If you have two glasses, I'm going to change it to glasses. If you have two glasses and you see someone without, give them your second. And we do the same thing when we go out. We work with our communities to ensure, as you have, Father, that you are giving and embracing and helping and bringing. And I am sure you just do not do it for Romanians, but you do it for whoever shows to the church, shows up with me. And we do the same thing in the office we have. I am blessed by my colleagues in the United States House of Representatives to be the number two on armed services and at Homeland Security. And that means that I not only work on those issues right here, but I work on the issues that affect America. And Romania is an incredible ally to the United States, and we need it. We need Romania. And you, your community, is the bridge to your family members and your friends that you left to make them understand, to have them understand this important alliance. For this reason, I was one of the founders of the Romanian caucus in the Congress. Because in visiting and seeing and understanding the importance of a NATO alliance of a time so difficult, and every time seems to be more difficult and more difficult, everything that we face, we started the caucus to inform the rest of the Congress people what is happening in Romania. I visited the base near Costanza when it had just begun. We had maybe 15 American soldiers there with Romanian soldiers. And this last time when I was there, in July, there were 1,300 Americans going through that base almost every single day. Father asked me to talk a little bit about the situation in Ukraine. It is alarming. And we have stood up in the Congress to put money, to send troops, to send people, to put the institutions stronger, to push back on the aggression that is happening from Putin and Russia. And we also understand what the eye of Putin sees and what he wants. And as a NATO ally, I will tell you, we are working with your government over there in Romania to ensure that Romania stays free and a democracy. That is my work in the Congress. And yes, even within Romania, I've seen the different factions and the political chaos and the corruption. We cannot turn our eyes away. But we must remember, we must give a chance to the Romanian people to have choices. Choices of democracy, choices of religion, and that is why we work hard together. Father comes quite a bit to my office with information, with strategy, about how we continue to work for the Romanian people. So Father, I am thrilled that you are celebrating the fifth birthday of this church and this community. I hope and I want to see many, many years, I maybe, you know, two, three hundred years at least, Maybe not in this church, maybe in a much bigger one, because I know that the Romanian community will continue to grow here in Orange County. And we, we are fortunate for that. <coughs> I want to point out today that my husband,
Osmond, Jack, stand up for a minute. Jack came with me today. He has a business. Top fastest growing, one of the top fastest growing businesses in Orange County. They just started it three or four years ago. One of his partners is married to a Romanian young lady over here now. But the whole IT section is located in Romania. So we have connections and places people don't even realize. We can work together to bring up Romania and to bring up America. 